Hi, this is Shop Talk and I'm Ria Tanwat Cotrillo. The increasing need and interest for skin and personal care products open business opportunities for a lot of entrepreneurs. Today, we'll check on two brands in the market to find out what they have to offer and how business has been despite the competitive environment. In the first segment, we're joined by Isa Duco Soriano. She's the president and general manager of Age Defying Solutions Philippines Corporation, the company behind the homegrown skin brand Glupa. Hi, Isa. Thanks for coming on the show. Thank you, Ria, for inviting me here. I'm so happy to be here. Yeah, afternoon. I mean, you know, we have a lot to talk about. Um, your line of uh, skincare products is Glupa, right? Yes. Um, obviously, there's a, a clamor for whitening products in the country now. What makes Glupa different from others that are available? Well, it is the first uh, combination in the world, the first to combine the two most powerful ingredients or the two most powerful whitening agents in the world, which are glutathione and papaya. Thus, it's called glupa, uh, glutathione plus papaya, perfect combination. Right, okay. And the line includes um, soaps and capsules and what else? Uh, we also have lotion, uh, the cream, uh, our lotion is uh, not just an ordinary whitening lotion. It also has a concealing effect and it has a she butter for moisturizing. And of course, the glutathione and papaya for whitening the skin. Right, and all of these are formulated and made in the Philippines, am I right? Y yes. Right, okay. And um, you yourself, you're not a chemist, so how did you, um, how were you able to put all of this together? Actually, I am a product researcher by profession. I'm also a marketing practitioner. And I would say that uh, there is a story behind this, actually, Ria. Uh, it started with my, when my aunt from abroad uh, asked me to send her whitening products. It was all because uh, she was uh, uncomfortable when she's beside her white skin counterparts. And uh, I can no longer remember the numerous uh, whitening products I've sent her but there would always be papaya in the in the products that I would send her and then until the glutathione was introduced in the Philippine market so that's th that time I sent her also the glutathione products and then until one day she maybe out of confusion she popped out the magic question which whitens better glutathione or papaya so that inspired me to do a lot of reading so I did an extensive research and what really glutathione and papaya do in whitening. And I found out that each component has its own advantages. So for the topical products like the soap, lotion, and cream, mm -hmm. papaya acts as an exfoliant. So as an exfoliant, it removes uh, dead skin cells to reveal uh, the new, younger, uh, and whiter uh, skin because the dead skin cells are removed. Right. But the question now is how do you maintain the whiteness of what, of what the papaya exfoliation has achieved? So this is where glutathione comes in. Because glutathione as the master antioxidant is uh, also known to inhibit or stop the formation of melanin, which is the brown pigment. It also turns the amino acid tyrosine or the, the melanin precursor, the brown pigment, into pheomelanin, which is the lighter skin pigment. So because of that, you achieve uh, a whiter skin, and it's just not whiter like the pale white skin. It's the glowing uh, white skin because of the glutathione and papaya combination. Right. And but, um, mm -hmm. glutathione has more than, uh, I mean, it's more than just for skin whitening, right? What are the other health benefits that are tied to it? Yes, uh, aside from skin whitening, actually skin whitening is just a side effect of glutathione, um, increased uh, intake of glutathione. Glutathione is really an antioxidant, an anti-aging agent. It also uh, enhances the immune system. Uh, it is also a detoxifier. It's uh, also a cell protector, so it's best used by people who have liver problems because it's a liver food. Uh, it's, uh, glutathione is naturally produced by our liver, but uh, 